my friends! Today I want to read a story called Always in Trouble. I know I have some friends out there that always feel like they're in trouble or they have some pets that are always getting into trouble. So I thought this book would be fun to read um, because this doggy is always finding himself getting in trouble. So let's see what kind of trouble he gets himself into. So this is called Always in Trouble. It's written by Corrine Damas and pictures are by Noah Z. Jones. Again, it's a Scholastic book. You know how much I love Scholastic. So if you like it, go ahead and feel free to order it. All right. Emma's dog, Toby, was always in trouble. On Monday, he got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. And on Wednesday, he ate a loaf of bread that Emma's dad had just baked. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night. On Friday, he went, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he chewed up all the buttons on Emma's new coat. On Sunday, he snoozed. He must have been tired from all that destruction. But on Monday morning, he got into the garbage again. What a mess. Something has to be done about that dog, said Emma's mom. Maybe he isn't getting enough attention, said Emma. How do you think her mom's feeling right now about the dog? Probably not too happy, huh? So all day Monday, she gave Toby lots of attention. And she took him on walks. And brushed his fur. And sang him silly songs. Looks like Toby took her on a walk, huh? But on Tuesday, Toby ate a box of crayons. Wednesday, he jumped into the basket of clean laundry that Emma's mom had just finished folding. I bet you Emma's mom was not happy about that. He was very good on Thursday. And he was very good on Friday. But on Saturday, he chewed up a magazine. What is going on with this dog? And on Sunday, he went wading in the muddy brook and then ran across the clean kitchen floor. Something has to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mom. Maybe he needs to go to dog training school, said Emma. What a great idea, said Emma's mom. And you could see Toby in the background. He's kind of like, rawr, rawr. what'd they just say? Training school. Let's see. You think he's going to be excited to go? The first class started the very next day. There were 10 dogs in Toby's class. Some were big and some were little. Some barked, and some yipped, and some growled, and some whined. Toby was as quiet as a grinch. Why do you think he was so quiet? It's kind of a change for Toby, don't you think? He behaved perfectly at school every week, and he did everything just right. When Emma said sit, he sat. When Emma said come, he came. And when Emma said heel, he stood right by her side. Hmm. He was the best dog, said Miss Katz, the teacher, when the classes were all over. At graduation, she gave Toby a diploma and a gold seal. Mrs. Katz, School for Good Dogs, graduation. Look at that. Emma's mom tacked the diploma low down on the wall, right over Toby's dog dish. Now you know how to behave, she said to Toby. And look, it proves it. He even got a little sticker, a little ribbon award. So now everyone knows Toby's fullest potential. 
But on Monday, what do you think happened? Toby got into the garbage. On Tuesday, Toby ran into the road. And on Wednesday, he ate the cookies that Emma's dad just had baked. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night, and he woke everyone up. Arf, bark, woof, quiet, they yelled. On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he dug up the petunias Emma and her mom had just planted. Who knows what a petunia is? Yep, it's a flower. It's a type of flower. So what do we think now? Is Toby being on his best behavior? Like he proved that he could be? On Sunday, he chewed up his diploma. Something has to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mom. Emma took him back to dog school. Does he look like he wants to go? Nope, it does not. Does he sit? asked Miss Katz. Well, yes, said Emma. Well, does he come? asked Miss Katz. Well, yes, said Emma. Well, does he heal? Yes, said Emma. Well, then, what's your trouble? said Mrs. Katz. So Emma told her. I see, said Miss Katz. If you want a specially trained dog, you'll have to leave him here with me for the week. Okay, said Emma. What do you think Toby's thinking? Do you think Toby's scared or excited? Or what do you think he's thinking? Would you want your owner, if you were Toby, to leave you for a week with somebody that you don't really know? Emma missed Toby all week. He was very, very happy to see her when she picked him up. I hope you've learned something this time, said Emma's mom. Please, Toby, Emma whispered to him. You've got to be good now. Toby licked Emma's face. He had a strange twinkle in his eye. What do you think's going to happen next? On Monday, he took the garbage out. On uh, Tuesday, he baked some bread. And on Wednesday, he vacuumed the rug. Ah, what a change of pace. Because before, he destroyed the garbage, ate all the baked goods, and wet the rug. So look at this change of behavior. On Thursday, he folded the laundry. On Friday, he washed the kitchen floor. On Saturday, he planted the petunias. And on Sunday, he snoozed. But no dog can be perfect, always. Not even Toby. Oops, sorry. So look what happened. Wah! He went right through the page. end. So we learned that Toby has the ability to be a good dog, but sometimes he just chooses not to be. But at least we know he can be good now, so that's good. Maybe he'll come around. Hopefully mom and dad will forgive him this time, but we'll see. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed the story this time. Um, little Toby's always getting himself in trouble. I hope he will stay out of trouble this time, but Stay tuned for the next story. Um, I will be posting another one here shortly. Have a great day, friends. Hope you liked it.